Welcome to Link 2024. I am uh, Rodrigo Rivera from the Link editor of Link Online. Today we have a very special guest, two special guests. is Dr. Adnan Siddiqui from Buffalo and Dr. Freddy Clanson from La Pitié, in Paris. Adnan, today you presented two very uh, impressive technologies. Could you explain a little more about, uh, for example, Nanoflex? Sure. So Nanoflex is, is a startup uh, that came out of Zurich, uh, spun out of ETH. And the primary uh, technology is magnetic manipulation of the distal shape of wires and catheters and guides. So it is uh, quite similar to uh, what Frederic will talk about too, is the concept of not having to use mechanical means to navigate devices up into the head. Freddy, could you explain Arteron? Yes, Arteron is a French startup based in uh, Paris. So the, the concept behind Arteron is a magnetofluidic navigation. So it's a, it's a catheter on which is mounted at the tip a cup, a ferromagnetic cup. And with a magnet, we will, it will help to, uh, to, uh, to attract the cup and to navigate the, the catheter without using your hand. So it's an automated uh, navigation. So you both are using technology, magnetic technology, to go distally. And are you both centered in, in stroke? So uh, Arteron is, is specifically dedicated to stroke. So the idea behind Arteron is to, uh, to try to democratize the, the mechanical thrombectomy, to make it very simple and to uh, automatize the navigation and to, uh, to reduce the risk of uh, failure due to tortuosities or, or, or vessel uh, tortuosities. And then is, is Nanoflex looking the same? So I think Nanoflex has a, a broader horizon in terms of their thinking about all neurointervention. But stroke clearly is a huge priority. Um, and it makes sense because when we think of uh, telestroke or remote stroke intervention, the question always is how do you manipulate the devices to do what you want to from 100 miles away? And so while there might be some mechanical means to do it, as many robotic companies are working on, this is a novel twist in terms of another force to manipulate technologies, to take them, not just from the carotid to the brain, but to take them from the groin, vascular access point, all the way to the brain. Is Nanoflex is going to be thinking in, in being integrated in an energy suite in a, with, a, with, a, with equipment? So uh, we did some early feasibility studies um, on models uh, in Buffalo. And there, absolutely, it was uh, integrated into the setup so that one of the main questions we had was, would the magnetic sort of stimulus impair our ability to visualize using X-ray equipment? And the answer to that was absolutely not. You can manipulate and see all at the same time without any difficulty. So I think it was a big proof of concept that it should be integrated into current engine system workup. Um, but it doesn't need to be integrated in the sense as a manufacturer. And Frederick, you're, you've been working with uh, animals like, like a swine. What is the next step? In, 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 so we did some uh, pig experiments. So um, as was saying uh, Adnan, so we can use this technology with a monoplan uh, flat panel uh, angel suite. And uh, there is like a, a safety algorithm to avoid collision between the, the, the arm on which the magnet is mounted. So avoid collision with uh, the table, the patient and the flat panel. And as said by Adnan, there is no uh, modification of the image quality uh, by uh, pu putting the magnet close to the flat panel. So it doesn't uh, uh, change the quality of the of the image and so we performed a couple of uh, experiments on, on animal on pigs and uh, we were able to navigate in very distally in uh, external carotid uh, uh, artery branches of the pig to reach uh, a clot and to remove the clot. Artery is intended to aspiration are you intended also to to, to go for example a stenting as a stent retriever for example or other device? At this time we are mainly focused on aspiration because as I said we want to do something very simple which, which would be accessible for uh, uh, not very trained uh, uh, operators so uh, we are mainly focused at this time on aspiration. So how, how do you move for example the 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 point where you want to go it's, it's a, you have you still have to have a person there in indicating where to go. We need, we need an operator to put the, the guiding catheter in the proximal aspect of the common carotid artery. But afterward, we, we, uh, we build a digital twin based on the CTA acquisition. And we, we do like a roadmap from point A to point B to, to, uh, to simulate the navigation of the catheter toward the target site, the occlusion site. 
And then I think that Nanoflex could uh, have another role, for example, in big aneurysm, giant aneurysm, that sometimes it's very difficult to cross the neck and go, and go distally. Absolutely. So uh, we struggle daily with trying to get our catheters and wires where we want them to go. Um, and we deal with the geometric variations in anatomy and mechanical restrictions of the devices that we use. Magnetism provides that invisible force that can make any catheter into anything. The same catheter can look like a vert catheter or a pigtail, depending on the forces being applied. And so absolutely, the first time I saw it, I said, oh, this is what I would like to have to cross one of those giant ophthalmic aneurysms to get to the outflow, which is so hard to do and you have to do five loop-to-loops, et cetera. Or trying to wise stent without going through the dome. You know, I think that really is, is a unique uh, opportunity and I think it might end up being one of the first regulatory pathways forward because I think creating a system for stroke is complicated. You sometimes aspiration doesn't work. Uh, sometimes it's sent retriever. Um, it's so complicated that um, I, I think just the simple fact that you have a catheter and a wire that you can deflect in any direction is going to be of great value for all neurointervention. Frederick, are you foreseeing a, a robotic future in France, or are you, or are you seeing more in, in, in other countries that are with less doctors? I would say that in France, we have some area of France which are not really well covered for mechanical thrombectomy. So there, there could be a benefit for, for this technology to cover uh, tightly all the, the French territory. But of course, for all around the world, there are a lot of countries in which uh, thrombectomy is not accessible for all patients. So I think it, it, the goal is to spread thrombectomy all around the world and to, to avoid uh, having patients not treated by thrombectomy because they don't have any, any physician to treat them. And then, you th are you foreseeing that uh, Nanoflex could be used for moving other things other than uh, catheters or, or guide wires, for example, material, embolic material to any place, or, or maybe AVM treat? That's an interesting concept. Uh, Professor Moray was talking about it a little bit, about what he had thought about 30 years ago, uh, putting a magnet on the outside of the aneurysm and getting all these metallic filings. In fact, people actually tried to do that for aneurysm occlusion. But could you do something like that for AVM occlusion? I, I think those are all possibilities. The question is, what will that material be? Obviously, it's not going to be Onyx or Squid or, or NBCA, but I, I'm sure some really smart engineer is going to figure out a way to take a polymer that behaves differently in magnetic fields and maybe that gives us a really elegant way to treat these vascular malformations and not have to worry about inadvertent occlusion of a vein or inadvertent occlusion of an artery that you can manipulate it to get it just right. Thank you very much both for, for you, for the, your time and, and your technology yeah. and advances. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.